What's going on with Hoyoverse's English voice casting? For the second time in a row, the mascot for Genshin Impact's English livestream has been voiced by an NPC actor from Mondstadt. Meanwhile, if you look at other regions, like Japan for instance, the recent 5.2 livestream featured Ororon and Sitlali's voice actors, and 5.1 was hosted by the voices of Kinich and Aja, which is Naruto and Sasuke voice actor. So, why is it only the English stream that seems to be affected? Let's dive into this topic and explore what's really going on. In the early 2020s, AI made massive leaps forward, and game developers quickly saw it as a tool to reduce labor costs and boost productivity, especially in voice acting. Imagine replacing human voice actors entirely with AI. It's a big cost saver considering unionized voice actors earn around $450 to $2,000 per hour, according to Backstage.com. But this also sparked significant worries across the voice acting community. Actors began to fear unwanted replication of their voices, job security issues, and lack of fair compensation. It's a real double-edged sword. On one hand, AI could improve productivity, but on the other, it threatens a lot of jobs. In this context, is a voice actor. This concern grew so much that the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, stepped in. Unionized voice actors voiced concerns that studios might start using AI to replicate voices indefinitely without any compensation. The union demanded protections, and while some studios agreed, nine major companies refused, leading to the sag after strike. Among those refusing was Formosa Interactive LLC. The strike means that any union voice actor is prohibited from accepting work, or even promoting any games by the companies being struck. This restriction also extends to non-union companies, unless they sign an interim bargaining agreement, allowing union voice actors to work freely with them. An important detail, the strike only affects new contracts or work. So if you're wondering why voiceovers didn't stop immediately when the strike began, it's because those lines were already recorded beforehand under existing agreements. This pre-existing work continues as planned, but anything new is off limits until there's a resolution. To record English dialogue for their games, Hoyoverse partners with three separate studios, Formosa Ocean Post for Genshin Impact, Rocket Sound Studio for Honkai Star Rail, and Sound Cadence Studios, often called the Arena Studio, for Zenless Zone Zero. These studios are non-union, but there's a catch. Formosa Ocean Post is owned by the same people who own Formosa Interactive LLC, a struck company. Since Formosa Ocean Post and Formosa Interactive LLC are so closely connected, Formosa Ocean Post is unlikely to sign any bargaining agreements unless Formosa Interactive LLC agrees to the union's terms. This connection explains why Genshin Impact specifically has been affected by the strike. As for why Paimon's voice actor, Karina Butker, continues to work, it's because she's the only Genshin actor who doesn't record with Formosa Ocean Post. Last year, Hoyoverse moved Karina to Sound Cadence Studios after Formosa had issues with payments. Since Sound Cadence has signed the interim bargaining agreement, they're free to work with union actors. So, Paimon's voice remains unaffected, even amid the strike. In other Hoyoverse games, we've seen some English voice actors get replaced recently without any official announcements. In Honkai Star Rail, characters like Huo Huo, Mr. Tail, Argenti, and Mose had their voice actors switched. Meanwhile, in Zenless Zone Zero, Lucy's voice actor, originally Courtney Lin, the same actress for Huo Huo in HSR, was also replaced quietly, as was Sukaku's, though we still don't know why. So why do Honkai Star Rail and Zenless Zone Zero recast their roles while Genshin Impact simply mutes them? This could come down to NDA, non-disclosure agreements. Honkai Star Rail and Zenless Zone Zero voice work is handled by Rocket Sound Studio and Sound Cadence Studios, both of which have agreed to voice actor protections against AI replacement. So theoretically, actors with these studios shouldn't be striking and would be expected to keep to their NDA terms. If they don't, they might face recasting as a consequence. So, that's one theory as to why some actors have been recast, including Huo Huo, Mr. Tail, Argenti, Moe's, Lucy, and Sukaku. 
But what do you think? Are there other reasons at play? Share your thoughts in the comments. In summary, the SAG-AFTRA strike has cast a unique impact on Hoyoverse's English voice casting, particularly for Genshin Impact. The strike's root stems from concerns over AI potentially replacing human voice actors, a move seen as a cost-cutting measure by game developers but viewed as a threat by voice actors due to job security and compensation issues. Since Genshin's English voice work is handled by Formosa Ocean Post, which is linked to the struck company Formosa Interactive LLC, the game faces restrictions that prevent the usual voice actors from participating. Meanwhile, Paimon's voice continues unaffected as her work was transferred to Sound Cadence Studios, a non-struck company. In contrast, other Hoyoverse games like Honkai Star Rail and Zenless Zone Zero have adjusted by recasting voice actors due to potential non-disclosure agreement, NDA breaches. This difference in response, muting versus recasting, reflects the varying studio agreements and protections around AI replacement. The situation with Hoyoverse's English casting illustrates the complex challenges the voice acting industry faces in the age of advancing AI. What's your take on these changes and the future of voice acting and gaming? And that's wrap all the voice actor drama that we know. What do you think about this situation? Leave your opinion in comment. See you guys and thank you.